And there's also the kind of thing that's like, you know, the airlines themselves, you know, they led on a lot of the kind of like post-Fordist developments in pricing algorithms that have completely revolutionized modern rent seeking, right? There's a kind of increase by the airlines on, you know, an emphasis on like getting all that consumer data and harvesting it into make more and more like new segments of consumers. We see this across other businesses, right? And everywhere we see this now, but it really started with the airlines. And I think like kind of stepping back too, there's the just general shitification of things. Yeah. That feeling that like everything is getting worse even while people are telling you actually it's still the same. So I think airplanes in particular are subject to that because, it, I mean, first of all, and we'll talk about this probably some more later, classic June online right mm. there. Uh, but, I mean, from our youth, I remember being, I think flying was like a, a kind of fun, exciting, romantic thing, right? Mm. I mean, part of that is probably chalked up to being a kid, right? And, mm. you know, the 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 fact that I didn't know what necessarily was on the other end of a plane, whereas now I just know it's more misery and pain. Uh, but it's also because you could see, of the, like, uh, there was at one point sort of a golden age of flying, right? Mm. Where flying was like this, I mean, it was a, it was a luxury activity, but, like, there, you know, there was the piano on board. Obviously, there's sort of, like, gaudy examples. But it was this thing that was kind of, like, glamorous and cool and fun, and you could smoke, and you could have sex with the flight attendants, and they gave you cognac, and there was, like, <laughs> like, like uh, roasts and stuff, things of that nature. Mm. Uh, yams. W- yams, exactly. You could have a fucking sweet potato at 30000 I said a feet. ham. A ham? Like a glossy ham. Well, now you might get ham. Now you might get ham cubed, cold, on top of one single leaf next to some disgusting cheese. But, you know, it was, it became, it was like this glamorous thing that is now not only the opposite of glamorous, it's actually so awful and so unbearable that basically every article I read, and I have read a lot about airplanes, uh... Every article I've read that is, like, giving travel advice, the, one of the final things they're like, why don't you drive maybe? <laughs> like, hey, maybe if, if you're concerned about not getting to where you're going, you shouldn't use this service that is primarily dedicated to getting you where you're going. 